I'm on the way to a place that I've been longing to see for a long time. I've heard that the nature, the landscape, and the history is like no other place and worthwhile visiting. Our journey is taking us to an ancient small city located in the mountains, barely an hour away from Tehran by car. The city I'm talking about is called Damavand. This is a place where raw nature meets ancient history. But before we have a look at all of that, let's have a look at Iran's highest peak, Mount Damavand. Mount Damavand has been referred to as the mountain with many faces and has had a special place in Iranian history and legends. Only the side of Mount Damavand is impressive. It rises higher than all the other mountains of the Alborz mountain range. Mount Damavand is the highest peak in Iran and is 5,671 meters high. This mountain is a volcano as well, potentially still an active one. This place is perfect if you want to go skiing, hiking or climbing. تنها قله ای که تقریبا در تمام طول سال رو نوک اون رو برف پوشونده و همیشه سفید پوشه در بسیاری از مواقع سال در نیمی از قله اون شما پوشش ابر بسیار زیبا و متنوع رو می‌بینید چنانچه به بالای اون مراجعه بکنید تقریبا میشه بگیم آتش فشان نیمه خاموشیه که دائم مقداری قبار و همچنین دود از دهانه اون از چند نقطه خارج میشه و تقریباً اون رو به صورت زنده میشه معرفی بکنیم هرچند که فعالیت فورانش به حدی نیست که خسارتی به اطراف بزن Between Tehran and Mount Damwan there is a distance of some 66 kilometers There is a city named Damwan which has an estimated population of some 108,000 inhabitants Mount Damwan has different routes for those who would like to reach the peak of it each route has its own degree of difficulty. The southern route is the easiest one. Damavand has cold winters and relatively warm summers. And since the summers are cooler here than in Tehran, a lot of Tehranis escape the heat of the city to come here to enjoy nature. The towns of Damavand are embedded in the valleys and slopes of the Al Bors mountain range. And driving along roads, one has an outstanding view of both the city and the mountains. Various residential areas are being built in Dalvan. We visited one called Mosha. The villas here are usually the holiday houses of people living in Tehran. The air is really clean and far from being polluted. A deep breath and you're in paradise. Welcome to the antique city of Damwan, says the sign, once you enter the city of Damwan. And that's exactly what it is. Now, this is not your ordinary mosque back there. This used to be a fire temple before the Islamic era and became a mosque during the Islamic era. The most important thing in Damavand is to go to the Jame Atiq. The Jame Atiq of Damavand is also a part of the Jame Atiq. Every two years, the Jame Atiq of Damavand is a part of the Jame Atiq. 
تخریب شده اما هنوز قسمت هایی از شالوده اصلی این بنا در قسمت زیر زمین و اون باقی مونده. The mosque Jama Atiq is located on a little hill in the middle of the city of Damavan. The mosque has inscriptions and symbols on the walls that date back to different historical eras. One description even describes how the plague had reached Iran. After experiencing this lovely city, I've caught up with some Damavandi phrases for those of you who would like to learn some Damavandi. That's all for now. I'm Sarah Khansari for Iran.